we're gonna follow Robert over there, but real quick. This is Scott. Ain't that peachy? <laughs> Robert got him some good looking peach trees. It's still blooming. He got to go the long way because of the swamp. You know, this is bog right here. It's drying up really good. Um, I put out some rye, so hopefully next rain it'll start sprouting up. And I finally burned that big old pile over there, but then I broke some more and threw it out and put it in there. Look at all that purple back there, too. That purple's beautifully ugly. Yeah, it is. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's Look at that. That tree is still smoking. For days. There's gotta be a lot of fat light in that thing. I didn't even I didn't think about it. You haven't been here since I did a lot of this stuff. Um, I, so I did a controlled burn out here. Right. You can see all this wisteria that's and it actually worked. All this privet died. All this hysteria that was coming up died from this controlled burn. I didn't hold out much hope for it because it didn't actually, you know, burn up the plants. But it killed all this stuff all the way out here. Um, but anyway, so I did a controlled burn here. And I started it, um, it's just burning leaves, basically. Um, but I, I started a, a fire, I started several different fires. But I started one at the base of this tree. And it burned around the base of the tree pretty good. But I didn't think it was hot enough to catch the tree on fire. Well, this tree caught on fire at the base and burned from the inside out all the way up through the tree and it's steadily burned the tree lower and lower and lower the top all of this wisteria right here fell out of the tree this was all in the tree um, when the, the top burned out it fell down there and dropped this wisteria out of it and uh, the tree just steadily it's, it looked like a chimney out here pulled up one day and it was just smoke pouring out of the top of the tree you can see the base is almost all laid up too. This is a good little, good little fire over here. Now I'm going to try to push the tree over now. Okay. I got you to watch me, Scott, in case it falls on me. <laughs> I don't know if it will go or not. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. There you go. If I'm jerking the camera around, it's going to be twisting and tripping over all these vines. But at least they're all dead. I'll give them that. He's got to work his way in there.
I guess you don't want it, if you hit it from the other side, it's more likely, I think, but that ain't the direction you want it to fall. Yeah, I would like it to fall on top of all that stuff so it would weigh it down and be something flammable on top, but it ain't gonna do it. The heart's still too good. Yeah. That's pretty darn cool, though. Yeah, man, you, you should have seen this. It's just pouring out smoke. I did some um, those YouTube shorts. Yeah, I saw that. Did you see it? Okay, yeah. yeah. And I can smell it right now. Yeah. It's. Uh, I'll just try to light all this up, and it might catch on fire again. And keep burning. There's some crazy big bacteria growing out of this. Stuff. I'll tell you what. Look at this stuff. Some of the. A little bit of it burning out there. Yep. It's still burning. Fat lighter. <laughs> That's it. But it's uh yeah, this this worked out. I see some mysteria that survived that controlled burn over there, but I just burned all through this little now explain swap. how you got a controlled burn to actually physically burn. You know, mm -hmm. you don't just come in there and throw a match on it. No, so well yes and no. i I used some accelerant. I, I looked for anywhere that there was a pile of dead stuff right. uh, for fuel for the fire. The leaves, um, a collection of dry, you know, whatever. Um, and I started it there. I started three different fires using accelerant. One was at the base of this tree. One, um, a, a bunch of collection of leaves and dead limbs, and over here. And then once it got hot enough, it just started eating all these leaves. Um, these, well, I mean, most of the leaves are gone. It just started eating all these leaves, and it would just travel in a line through here and so wherever I didn't want it to burn which wasn't a whole lot but anyway wherever I didn't want it to burn I just drug the bucket and created you know uh, space the fire always stops when it uh, gets to anything green it just won't burn it um, I mean that time it always stopped and uh, it just ate through all of these thick leaves strangely it didn't start any of this like those leaves right there yeah um, it just, but I think you can see. That's Nandina. There's this darn mysterious in there. That's another evil one, Nandina. Where's that? Oh, this? That's Wisteria. No, no, not oh. it, right there. That's Wisteria too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, sure is. I got Nandina over there though. Okay, I was gonna say you got you had <laughs> it in the front. Yeah, I've got it over there. I'll give you as much as you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but once this fire was started over here, I just had a little torch lighter. And I started finding any collection Okay, of dry that's leaves. what I was driving at. You used torch. Yeah, yeah, stuck the little lighter up under there until these start burning from the bottom up. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it, it took off very Well, they were doing the controlled burns out in Talbot County uh, a, couple, uh, a week and a half ago. Uh -huh. Still, you know, so I think they got two seasons they'll do them. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, you know, just a good time to get it done. Yeah. It is. It's beautiful. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Robert needs a lawnmower. Mm -hmm. Now, this is rye? This is rye, yeah. Okay. There's some native wildflower seeds and uh, some kind of native grass, bushy something or other. Bushy bluestem. It's in here, too. But all I see growing is the rye. Mm -hmm. But it gets it gets to be a adult size or, or you know older it'll it'll bush hog real good. Yeah. But it did well. It did real well. It just, I had to get some drone shots of these trees with the uh, folks. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, the sun's blocking it, but it's purple as can be up in there. Sure is. The evil is still there. Yep. But. Robert's been doing a good job of fighting it back. Look, yeah, just look at where all it's knocked, you know. I couldn't stand here this time last year. And two years ago, you and I were right there on top of that chicken coop putting it together. Yeah. And that oak right there was had vines hanging down. And wisteria was blooming right there on us. Right. And that, that was awesome. Yeah. To see it gone. Absolutely. Long way, brother. Long way. 
I think it, you know, I see all this wisteria in the trees now and think, oh man, I got so much to go. But then you look at all this area, I have to remind well, so myself. You couldn't see that last year. That's right. That's, That's the thing right. about it. Yeah. We were like, we didn't pay any attention to it because we couldn't see it. You really couldn't see the forest for the jungle. Yeah. Here. But uh, it's come a long way. My overall goal is I want to be able to look through there and see that big old oak tree. Oh yeah. Story tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And I'm so glad to see that grass coming up. Yeah, isn't it something? I don't think it is. I wanted to, um, I wanted that fire to come out to the grass to just, you know, eat up on anything that was, uh, growing in there but still. wouldn't make yeah. it there wasn't enough fuel for it now i think i'm going to do kind of an experiment this year with this area although i already see a reason that i shouldn't i see wisteria coming back through this grass right here yeah exactly um i know what works and um, to get rid of this stuff but i kind of wanted to just let it grow and then bush hog it after growing season, just to see, you know, what happened, all what kind of plants grew through there. That's, yeah. That's pokeweed, that's coming up early. Yeah. Everything's, we're, we definitely, we still got a, a, a freeze coming, you know. Yeah. That's the thing about it. Dan has wisteria on his chain link fence, and he said that uh, each year the wisteria will bloom and then a freeze will come along and kill it. So let's look at that nasty stuff over here. It's, it looks pretty over here. You know, I, I talk a lot of crap about wisteria on these videos and just in general, not on the videos. But I see, uh, I see the way it's hanging up right there and ain't it just, just pretty. There's several breeds of wisteria. This right here is taking over the south. Yeah. It's Chinese. Mm-hmm. And that's what it was is you know 200 years ago that stuff wasn't here yep and uh it turned into a beast when it got here much like kudzu yep exactly so you, you don't really realize how much wisteria there is around here until it's blooming season yeah, you and it's like you see it everywhere it sure is pretty pretty ugly if you ask me Mm -hmm. I didn't just drop a bunch of seeds. No, no I ain't, they ain't got the seeds pots. yet. Yeah. I'm going to try to get a lot of this no cut smell. before it. Uh, no smell. No smell. Hmm. Let's, mm. Let me smell it. Oh. Yeah, no smell. Yeah. I got a faint one right there. Yeah. Yeah, faint smell. Because that ain't opened up all the way yet. Right. That one is. Mm -hmm. Very faint. It looks almost like a, a viola type of bloom. Faint smell. It's got. It doesn't. It didn't bad. It's a good smell. I guess we ought to find a way to make. There you go, Robert. We can make soap out of this. You know, right. Add this to their soap. Yeah. And uh, have a nice smell like like people do with. Uh, some of the other stuff, lavender and everything. Right, yeah, wisteria soap straight from the old bird bar. farm. <laughs> Five dollars a bar. Hey, you know uh, what else has a bad smell I need to get rid of is Bradford pears. They, they a, do stink. Yeah. They stink. I had a bunch of them blooming in the back right now. Yeah. Yeah, you can see them on the drone video, all those white trees. Cut them down. Mm-hmm. I, I, I got, you got no need for them. Yeah, they're, they're... And you can, you know, get a real pear tree out here. That's, that's, that's right. Good. Yeah. But, you know, the dogwoods are blooming already, mm -hmm. and they're way early. They're, there's no reason, there's no way they should be, the first week in March they should be blooming, because they're always in bloom when Easter comes, and Easter's not till April the 9th. I gotta say, I, I, this year's moved by very quickly. Yeah. I was on video the other day, and I said, man, it is a hot day for January, and I was editing the video. I said, it's a hot day for January. I said, dude, it's freaking March. 
All right, it's not January anymore. <laughs> what was I thinking? Maybe it was an old video. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't even an old video. It's March. It's yeah. A, boom. Yeah. I know. Well, I'm just going to cut that out because now I sound like I have no idea what what anything you do is. What you got to do with it. <laughs> no, no season idea. But uh, yeah. But it's, it's definitely warm. early this year. We still, like I said, always get a freeze before March 15th. Yeah. And last year we had two days of 28 degrees on the 13th and 14th. And it really messed up a lot of trees. Mm -hmm. But um, we have to have that for the insect control. Yeah. And we had, uh, we did have good freezes in early January. Mm -hmm. We had some good freezes then. Yeah, because I was getting bit by mosquitoes in December. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's. In fact, I poured out something the other day that had a bunch of mosquito larvae in it. Okay. And some water. Well, they were attacking me when I was putting these greenhouse together. Yeah. I just, uh, not bad. Those big ones are up. You know, the ones that can't, can't really bite you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he was having a fit over that. You gotta start shedding that winter coat soon. You're getting a little late on it. It's already, it's already warmed up in the 80s. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. I had to, when Scott came over, I thought we'd do a little walk around. Plus, I wanted to try to push over that burning tree while Scott was here and uh, have someone hold the camera and call the ambulance. Yeah. Actually, you don't need to call the You can just take my ambulance. You're going <laughs> 45 back to Columbus. Yep. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time.